Hello everyone! So last week I was doing a juice fast, and if you don't know what that is, and god you're lucky, it's where you drink only vegetable or fruit juice for a whole week without eating anything for seven days. So that's why the video is late. As I'm sure you all can imagine, I didn't really have motivation to build anything last week, as I was slowly losing the will to live, but I actually had a pretty cool idea, found a spot out in the commonwealth to make it work, and I built it in like two days. I just didn't record a video. So I'm over here by East City Downs, which is just north of the Pridwin. Uh, so you can see by the marker, I'm just above it. And this is how the spot looked when I found it. Okay, it's, it's kind of flat. Not really. So I have to level out the ground a little bit. Um, oh, if you couldn't tell, I downloaded a grass mod. Now, normally I don't really like those, but I actually found one that I think looks pretty cool. It's called Natural Green, which I think really lives up to its name because it's just enough green to make it look natural. And I, I really just downloaded it to give the game a different look for the time being. But yeah, this is it. This is the spot where I'm gonna build. Hang on, let me get a better angle. Uh, not right there, okay. So yeah, this is the spot, okay? I didn't, this is vanilla, I didn't change anything. So, cut to what I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's sexy. You can say it. I know, I know it is. I'm being conceited right now because, um, I don't know what happened. I think the juice cleanse put me in some kind of trance. Maybe some kind of meditative state. After four days, I blacked out, uh, woke up two days later, and I had this. I have no idea how I built this, but I, I know that I did build it, because who else? You know, my wife? My wife wouldn't have built this. It, did she build this? Nah, she didn't build this, but if she did, I married right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so this is uh, Container World, which is a stupid name, right? It's a stupid, it's a, that's the name of a place, like a real place already, isn't it? Like a real business, Container World? Nah, no, it's not. But anyways, Container, Settlement, Junk Town, the uh, place is a new name of this settlement. The outside does not do it any justice, so let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are. So to the right, that door right there is the main entryway, which I'll take you through in just a second. Got a pirate flag with a few other decorations, because these guys aren't really with the Minutemen. I mean, kind of, with their guards and police. What's up, Steve? But not really... You know, they're not full-on Minutemen. They don't fly the flag, they don't do the whole another settlement needs your help bullshit. They are their own community that supports the Minutemen, I guess is the best way to describe it. But I really love stuff like this, like little workstations tucked into the debris and the clutter laying all around, you know, like stuff like this. It just brings the settlement to life, you know, because they need a spot to make their kim, so why not have it outside and put a cover over it in case it rains radiation so you can craft kims whenevs, as much as your heart desires, or can handle. But on the other side of this fence is a pond, well, no, not a pond, it's like a, a lake or a river, just a body of water. So we get people fish, we have fish drying out, making the settlement smell like death, and uh, some buoys on the wall to symbolize, you know, yeah, we fish occasionally. And back here is just more of a hangout area. Uh, and this bus is where the guards sleep or take breaks in between shifts, so nothing really to see there. Now keep in mind that I had to build everything you're looking at. I used Cat Deco to level out the ground, so I just put down some concrete pieces and then used the Cat Deco ground covers on top. And then I downloaded a mod called Just Debris that gives you a ton of debris pieces that you can build. So you can see I used it all over the place because I wanted this whole area to look like it was already here and that they just built a settlement into it. So getting started on the inside, you'll see that I use a lot more debris in here as well because this is like the storage area. So as traders come and go, we just buy in bulk and then we just storm into these containers. And you see that we're starting to transition into the actual ground here. So I stopped using Cat Deco right around this point because the ground is raised up. And I also started to sink some of these containers into the ground and put larger debris around them since we couldn't really get into them. But uh, yeah, we have a guard post right here with a really shitty guard that's supposed to be keeping an eye on all our supplies. And uh, this container, this blue container, is our armory. 
And, uh, it's quaint, you know, we don't really have a whole lot of weapons or ammunition, but that's okay, because, uh, if we did have any disputes, we would sit down and talk about our feelings and see if we could come to a resolution. Yeah, bullshit, look at all these mini nukes. Yeah, cross us once, and one of these fuckers are going right up your ass. And over here's the bathroom. You know, nothing nice, but it's a bathroom, so, I mean, can't really complain about it. It has everything you need, a bathtub and a sink with no faucet or knobs, but, you know... And right here is the, this is the side entrance, so I don't want to take you up there. It's just a stairwell that goes all the way up to the third floor. But the main entrance is this elevator. So, in the second floor, this is where everything is. It's my most favorite part. So, I broke things off into different lanes. So, this first part we got lane 1 and 2. And lane 1 is mostly residential. Same thing with uh, lane 2, it's also residential, but the way a lot of these work is that um, I have a market on the other side. And so the shop owners live on the containers on this side too. So on this one is just a residential container, which is not a lot in here because, I mean, it's a container. What more can you put in there? And then the ones on, like this one here, is for the shop owner. So when you open this one up, it's actually two in one. So this is where the shop is that I'll take you to in just a second. But it connects and then the shop owner comes over here and sleeps in his little living container. Which living in a container, yeah, it doesn't really sound like a lot of fun, especially if you're claustrophobic, but it's the apocalypse. It's pretty damn safe. I mean, you got levels of containers protecting you just in case some shit goes down. But what do I know? I never lived through the apocalypse. I mean, I lived through the juice cleanse, which is pretty damn close. <laughs> anyway, over here is the uh, guard post because we do not have a fence on this side. So we got a nice view for him to check out. And oh, what is this? Hmm, it's the bathroom. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Well, so that was the bathroom. And, uh,. Deborah, she actually owns the diner, so that's gonna be fun later. So that was lane two, and lane one is very similar. It's still part of the residential area, like this one. That's the armor merchant's house, which is why I put an armor workbench out there. We do have some for rents, like this one, and no, that's not because I was too lazy to decorate it. Okay, fine, I was a little lazy to decorate it. Um, and I don't really like this sign, the flea market. It's the only thing that said, only sign that I had that said market and would fit on that board up there, so. I'm not crazy about it, but it gets the job done. But here are lane three and four. So this is the marketplace. Most of these are shops with another container used for the shop owner's living area, like this one. This is the general trader. What's up, Gary? We already saw Gary's living area, or his, his house container, um, and this side is where the shop is. So you can see all I did was throw down some, like, two floorboards right here, so it's not really safe. They, he can easily fall in between, but... His choice, you know, some people have railings right there or it's more closed off, but you know, Gary's a badass. So the idea with these is that you can walk up to the window and order what you want, or you can take a step inside. So this is the other side of the diner where we have a takeout window that you can order something from Margaret. Hey Margaret! Um, or you can come inside and sit down and order whatever you want. You know, we have drinks, all kinds of food, and the food isn't always the same because you never know what we're going to get from different traders. But yeah, it's a nice little place where our settlers hang out. It's way more active at night because there's nothing else to do, really. So people come here and just have a few drinks, get kind of shit-faced and make an ass of themselves, uh, which can be really entertaining, but also very dangerous. So we have a police station right beside the diner as a buzzkill. Hey man, who, who put you in the corner? What did you do, huh? Well, this is the police station, mainly where our detectives work, which they're not here right now, so I don't know what the hell they're doing. But this is where we handle, you know, reports of crimes or something. It's a, it's a police station. It's where police come from. This is our farmer's market, Commonwealth Farm Supplies, ran by Dave. Hey, Dave, how's it going today, man? Huh, well, fuck me. Back here is the living area. You know, nothing too special with these. But uh, this is a great place to buy, you know, produce, fertilizer for all your farming needs. Or, you know, just want to buy food. But this is my favorite store. I always love the weapons shops. I just really like using the closed off window as a form of protection. Or I guess you could just walk in. But this is our shop owner, Randy, who has a lot of high powered ammunition, like those mini nukes on the top shelf that could easily fall off and blast a big ass hole into our little community. So I guess Randy and I have a lot of trust here, don't we? I'm kidding, Randy. We're gonna talk about those later. And this is the armor shop right across the street. What are you doing? Why are your eyes closed? 
This is fucking weird. So let's make this very quick. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Armor, he has more armor, and this is where he lives. So nothing too special. Hope you hope you figure out whatever it is that you're doing. But down here we have another container that's for rent. Yes, I didn't want to decorate it. But I feel like I made up for it with the emergency room slash hospital. I really like the way this one came out because even though it's small, I was still able to put everything in here that you would normally see in a clinic. For the most part. So we have a receptionist, a waiting room, some paintings on the walls, and then some individual operating rooms. Now obviously I couldn't put a lot of stuff in here, but for this type of build, I feel like it's all pretty realistic. You know, it's just enough stuff to get by and to be effective. And you see there are two entrances to make it easily accessible no matter which side you are on in case of emergencies. Alright, so moving up to... Actually, wait, I don't want to go this way. I want to go back to the elevator since this is the main entrance. Just looks better over here when you see it for the first time. I don't know. But as you saw, there are a few places to get around. So two staircases over to the left and one over here to the right by the bathrooms. So up here is the gardening area, our farm per se. So we have a lot of planters with food growing, and uh, this spot is where the workers can take a load off and relax for a second. And then over here is the staircase, so this goes all the way down to the bottom floor underneath everything. Now, I wanted this top area to have a lot of containers that are missing sections like roofs and walls, and even have some of the green support beams missing to make it look like they scrapped a lot of these pieces to build up the middle section, or just other areas that were more important. So this whole area is pretty open since the containers were stripped, which made it a perfect spot for plants since they will have direct sunlight. And I think it worked out pretty well. I mean, I feel like it all looks believable and makes sense to have planters and food growing up top because it's the safest place from intruders. Maybe not so safe from extreme weather conditions, but that's why some of these still have roofs. But uh, yeah, pretty easy to maneuver around up here. I closed off some of these just like I did on the ones below to connect them. And yeah, just, just a bunch of different plants in planters. I don't know a lot about gardening or farming or keeping plants alive longer than a week, so I don't really know what to say. I didn't really... I didn't really know what all was needed when decorating this, so a lot of plants. We got plants in bathtubs and toilets and lockers and tires. You name it, we probably grew a plant in it. And now for the last part, which is the other side of the lower level, which I don't know why I didn't show you this to begin with while well, I was already down there, but yeah, here we are. So I have another staircase over here that only leads to the lower parts lower parts. Ah, that's gross. But now on this side are more containers just full of storage or not opened at all. But also this is where I have some gel cells. Just in case. You know, just in case we have some assholes like these guys who want to cause some problems. And to go along with them we have some guard posts where there is actually a guard. Hey man, I'm proud of you for actually being at your post and not having these gel doors wide open. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to do a silent tour at the end of this one since I literally took you through everything. But I would definitely like to hear what you guys think. Is this believable? Does it look like something you would have found in the game? If not, what would you have done different? Let me know in the comments. Or come over and check out my Discord server. The link is in the description. I'm on there talking with people every day. So come be a part of the community. It's a really great place to hang out. But thanks for watching, check out these next videos that YouTube picked out for you, and if you enjoyed this build, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more builds, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.